Alrighty guys, as many of y'all know, I have been testing out the 3M VersaFlow respirator in my shop, and I figured that I have spent enough time using this tool to give it an honest review. I'm going to start off by addressing the elephant in the room, which is the price of this unit. At the recording of this video in June 2022, the price of this respirator kit from 3M is around $1,240, which is a steep price to pay for personal protective equipment, which is not normally considered as sexy as, say, tools like the 2x72 belt grinder or a heat treating oven. For me, it came down to a few key reasons why I took the plunge on this powered respirator system, which I'm about to go through here, in order to give you the talking points needed to justify this purchase to your wife. Speaking of purchases, I put affiliate links to all of these items in the description of this video, and these links will help the channel monetarily, which will result in more videos like this one. One of my key reasons for buying this unit was of course health. In my case, as an avid knife maker, I do a significant amount of grinding in my shop on metals, woods, and synthetic materials, none of which are healthy to breathe. I plan on building out a shop in the future with a dedicated grinding room, which will reduce the dust in the rest of my shop, but will also concentrate it in the air in the grinding room itself. So this purchase was forward looking for that scenario. At the end of the day, you only get one set of lungs, and I want to be making knives into retirement. Up to this point, I've been recommending the Respo Raider for those of us blessed with glorious beards, and I still consider it a viable budget option. In my case, I was often too lazy to use the supplied nose clip on the Respo Raider, which reduced its effectiveness, and I also found it slightly fatiguing after a couple hours of wearing it. Comfort when grinding is strangely important when you're trying to dial in those tight dimensions, which is another reason why I went with the VersaFlow. The VersaFlow is well balanced on the head and I have found it comfortable to wear for extended periods of time, in some cases over four continuous hours. To add to this comfort, the airflow coming from the powered filtered system comes into the helmet across the user's forehead, which actually helps keep you cool in the summertime. When it comes to the evolutionarily superior bearded men looking for lung protection, this helmet can't be beat. The elastic fits around the user's chin and the positive pressure provided by the filter unit keeps the air you're breathing clean. Considering that I can never shave my beard due to the potential loss in strength in the name of my channel, I needed a solution that could accommodate it. One feature I really didn't think about much when purchasing the unit, but have become super happy with it is the face shield. It's really nice to not have to wear safety glasses, and the full face protection can really come in handy when using an angle grinder, or if the 2x72 belt ever decides to pop. Now that we've pretty much covered why I purchased this unit, I want to go over some of the more detailed points on its performance and what comes in the kit. What you get in the box is a helmet, a filter pack with a spark arrestor mesh, battery pack, battery charger, airflow tester, belt, hose, and a face shield protector. I thought the airflow tester was a nice touch and obviously shows that this item is made for industrial use where filter life and airflow need to be confirmed on routine. After I installed the filter cartridge, I tested my airflow for fun and it fell within the acceptable range, which will very slightly do with elevation. Speaking of the filter system, it does come with a spark arrestor mesh that is to be installed upstream of the filter cartridge. This prevents sparks from getting into your unit and burning it up. Even though I generally operate this filter pack on the back of my belt away from the grinder, I thought it was a pretty neat feature for metal grinding. I read some reviews talking about low battery life, but I have not had that experience. I've ran this battery for six hour days without any issues to date. I generally run the machine on the low setting, which I find adequate, and this may be the contributing factor to my long battery life performance. The face shield comes with a stick on replaceable protector, which I highly advise using. Within the first three hours of me using this unit, I actually nicked the face shield with my grinder, and this protector prevented the actual shield from taking damage. These protectors can be purchased on Amazon in bulk, to keep your face shield clear and safe from scratches. There are specific hearing protection muffs that can be purchased for this helmet. However, I wanted some Bluetooth hearing protection. My 3M standard earmuffs would not fit with this helmet, so I purchased a set of OSHA compliant earbuds from Elgrin. These little earbuds really have been pretty awesome. They are lightweight and the sound comes through nice and crisp. Surprisingly, I can even take calls when equipment is running and hold the conversation with the caller. So now I want to show how I get suited up with this kit in practice and also give you an idea of the setup time between this system and the Respo Raider. First up, I'm going to show my old PPE system with the Respo Raider. 
and breaks apart at the front and wraps around the user's neck. There is ample room for a set of large 3M earmuffs with this system. To truly have safe air to breathe, the user needs to use the provided nose clamp that comes with the kit. The time it took me to set up to grind with this PPE is around 12 seconds. When suiting up with the VersaFlow, I start off by putting in my wireless hearing protection, followed by the helmet and filter pack. I then connect the hose to the filter pack with the quick connect and turn the filter on. All that's left to do is pull down the helmet and get to grinding. The time it took to set up the VersaFlow is around 20 seconds. All in all, I've really enjoyed using this system in my workshop, and I feel like the comfort provided by this kit has shown through in my work. As always, if y'all got something out of this video, please consider subscribing here to YouTube, and know that the affiliate links to these items in the description of this video go a long way to helping the channel continue to bring new content. Until the next time, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.